Hello YouTube, it's Snaker Steve in the workshop and uh, today we're going to replace the springs on our Ender 3 bed uh, with some heavier, dutier, more consistent uh, machinist springs. These are uh, 8 millimeters by 25 millimeters. Um, you'll find the stock springs after a while they'll give or they just won't be as consistent um, when trying to hold the bed level. So uh, we're going to walk through how we replace them. Uh, basically, you're removing the uh, uh, thumb wheels off all four corners of the bed. If you push down just a little bit in the corner you're working on, you can usually get them to free spin. And then you work the screws out. Sometimes they fight a little more than others. And that'll get you to where you can flip the bed over. Underneath, you'll find uh, three of these that'll come free, uh, and we'll just move them out of the way. And there's always one under the strainer relief. So we'll take our new spring, slide it on there, and Flip it over gently, put a screen, spring in, line up the back holes, get it to start. And of course it's going to fuss with me a little bit. I wouldn't expect anything less. <laughs> we'll feed on the front springs. I already did the jam nut upgrade to this bed um, to make sure that the screws stay uh, oriented up and down. So now that we've got them all started, I know that uh, these springs are going to cause, um, they're not going to squish as much as these springs would. So I'm going to take my z-axis end stop and I'm going to move it up a couple of millimeters. Pretty straightforward in how to do that. That'll buy me the room I need to install the new springs. And then we will put on the thumb screws You might you lose a little bit of clearance on your Ender 3, but uh, typically what I find if I print at max height with my Ender 3, I'm going to snap filament. Uh, most of my prints are uh, 20 or 30 millimeters below max height of 250, so I don't have a problem. And if you give your... Uh, bed a pinch as you go um, or put some pressure on the corner you're working on it'll spin more freely and you can suck them down Quite a ways, and you'll find with these springs, your printer will maintain its level uh, longer, and it will be easier to level manually. Uh, I still do the manual thing. And when we think we've got the bed sucked down nice and even all the way around, we will set her up to do uh, 
some auto home action. Disable our steppers, slide it over, make sure we get the clearance we need for our trusty sheet of paper. I go uh, a little ways in all the way around. Just looking. And there we have it. We've replaced the springs uh, with better quality machinist springs um, that are medium duty. And our printer should hold its level longer um, and print to print be more consistent. That's all I got for you now. Maker Steve signing off.